Hello everyone, welcome to 3ddesignacademy.com. In this lesson, we will learn how to create three circles that are tangent to each other. Now, this video is being made in response to one of our viewers who posts a question in, uh, in a, one of our videos in Autodesk Alias Basic Tutorials of 34, Key Point Curve Toolbox, the Arc Tool. So Alias is uh, pretty basic in its ability to do CAD drawings. Um, well, basically it's the functions are a little bit limited. So what we are, uh, what I'm going to do is uh, do a little bit of, I guess, a manual work. Um, but let's first of all, uh, find out what, how we need to create the three circles that are tangent. So in order to do that, I went to this website. Uh, I did a Google search and it says in order to any three points can be the centers of three mutual tangent circles to construct the circles. Form a triangle from the three centers, bisect its angles and draw perpendiculars from the point where the bisectors meet to the three sides. The point where these perpendiculars cross the sides are the desired points of tangency. There are also the points where the and inscribed the circle, the red, is tangent to the triangle. The circle has its center at the point where the six lines meet and crosses the three ta uh, tangent circles perpendicularly at their tangent points. Okay, so basically this is the basic instruction. Um, at first I was uh, a little bit confused as what to do, but after a little bit of study and exploration, I think I was able to uh, figure out how to make it. So let's go ahead and go back to alias. And I'm just going to go to the top view uh, pr by pressing F5. And the first thing I have to do is to construct the circles, form a triangle from the three centers. So that's what I'm going to do first. So let's create a curve. I'm just going to, well, actually three degrees fine. Just gonna create a random triangle that which basically re represents where the center of the circles are going to be. Actually, this angle is a little bit too similar, so I'm just going to use a stretch tool to make it a little bit different. Okay, the second thing I have to do is bisect its angle. So um, there are several ways that we can do this. So one way is to actually measure the angle and just rotate the curve. So that's first uh, one thing I can do. So I just need to snap a curve, uh, Grab the angle tool locators. Just going to do this like this. You just have to go around in uh, clockwise or the counterclockwise uh, clockwise, uh, order. And it says 87.456. So let's just divide that. So what I need to do is I just need to copy a curve over here and I'm just going to rotate it. And I'm going to, let's see. So it's going to be 40. 43.743 like this that should be the uh, middle but just in case i'm going to just check it with the calculator 87.486 divided by 2 43 7, uh, 7, 4, 3. okay so that's perfect so that's one angle and now i'm going to do this one uh, uh another thing that you can do is you can because it's just just uh, you're basically trying to get to the middle I can just snap a curve over here and I'm going to make this just a specific length. So instead of attributes, I'm going to say, wow, that's 500 mils. Okay, so maybe I'll make it 200 mils. I'm gonna do the same thing over here. I can just snap a curve here and I'm also going to make that 200. I'm gonna delete all the guidelines because they're not needed. I can just snap a curve over here so that it's exactly the middle, uh, so that you can uh, find the middle. And I can just snap a curve over here and snap right in the middle like that. And I'm just going to intersect, uh, extend this curve over here. And basically, if you look at this image, uh, let's see, wherever this center is, because we already have two points, you can probably just guess that this is going to be the, uh, it's supposed to intersect to the right, uh, right to the center. So I can just do that. So you can just snap a curve over here and just snap it over here. But let's just see uh, and check if that is correct. So let's just grab the angle tool. I'm going to measure it over here. 
15.376 so we know that this is the correct spot now we need to uh, next up we need to make uh, drop perpendiculars from the point where the bisectors meet to, uh, to the three sides so basically the green curves um, now it might sound confusing at first but what it means is that i need to just uh, create a curve that is perpendicular to this one uh, to the center so while while we're at it let me just extend all the curves back like this so that we have exactly the center and what i can do is well actually i do need the key point curve toolbox back oh not the text tool okay so in order to do that what you need to do is just grab the perpendicular tool and i'm going to say grab this one oh actually i do need to change the setting so in instead of front curve i'm going to say the two curve so you can snap a curve of uh, snap uh, using CV snap using control and I'm just going to snap a curve over here like this we'll do the same thing over here and I'm going to do the same thing over here like this and basically these are the points where the circles are going to be basically they're the radius now now okay so let's go ahead and create a circle and in order to do that I'm just going to make sure that uh, let's see construction options are good okay so i'm going to turn rational flags on like this and let's go ahead and create a circle so it's going to be a circle i'm going to snap over one over here like this one over here oh not not that we're gonna create one over here and i'm going to create one over here like that oh uh, wrong point so let me just delete that and going to snap right here and as you can see over here it's exactly tangent it's exactly tangent over here and if i were to create a circle that's right here it's actually tangent to the triangle as well so by doing that i was able to replicate whatever instruction that was on this website i thought this was really interesting it's a, a ge, it's a geometry uh question um and it's i i thought that this was very very interesting it was kind of hard to figure out at first uh, but the problem is uh, the only issue is that it's kind of hard to because we are starting from uh send out the circles i don't know if it's going to be possible to let's say determine the radius of the circles uh, first and then pick a different point and make sure that they're all tangent to each other i think some of the other cad programs such as i, I think autocad has a function where uh, you're able to line up all the circles in a tangent but in alias because of its limited function this is one way to create three circles that are mutually tangent to each other all right, thank you guys for watching and see you next time.